Hello, I'm Mike Hamilton. I'm over here at Lithia Toyota Reading, and today I'm featuring a 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. I'll be right back. Badging with the Toyota written all the way across. This is only done with the uh, TRD Pro. And then below here, we have the TRD Pro skid plate for the front. There's also one in the back for the fill tank. Uh, 9.6 inches of ground clearance at its lowest point. Then coming up to the, again, the Toyota written across there below there is a flat plate that has the radar systems for the toyota safety sense that is available to this vehicle up on top we're going to see again the, the plate here as i'm demonstrating that and then up on top we're going to have our hood scoop available on the trd pro and the trd off-road packages this is non-functional, it's just for looks. And we're gonna go up on the windshield and we have our radar and cameras up there for, to complete our Toyota safety sense, for lane departure alert, adaptive cruise control, smart stop, auto dimming high beams. We have our moonroof sunroof and then our CRD Pro basket or rack up there. We have our LED high headlights complaint until 2020 that they weren't bright. So now they switch to LED high headlights, fog lights also available for now on this TRD Pro. So no more complaint about it's too dark. Coming into the side here, we have the 17 inch TRD Pro wheels with the uh, Nitto Grappler tires on this. We have our Running boards, one of three styles. There's also a Predator tube step that's available for these four runners. This is a proximity key vehicle. So if I put my fingers on these two notches, this will lock the doors. I just locked it. One in open it, I just put my hand on the handle and pull. And I open it up, it's that simple. Up on top, we have our moonroof and sunroof and our TRD Pro roof rack. And then coming to the side, here's our black TRD Pro badging and our wind vortex generators that are on all Toyota's TRD uh, t exhaust tip here on this vehicle. Coming equipped is class four tow. And it has the uh, four and seven pin prongs there underneath. Down below here, and we got tow hooks down underneath here. And then the tires tucked up under there to give this thing a little bit better ground clearance on the departure angles. Again, black badges uh, for the TRD Pro. So we got. TRD Pro on the black. We got the Forerunner in black. We got the Toyota logo in black. Coming up to the top here, we have our Shark Fin that does our safety connect, our GPS uh, for our maps, and our Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, XM Radio, all available in this vehicle. The TRD trim package does not come with a third row. 
three row options are only available to the SR5 and the Limiteds and that's the optional. This will never have a third row. Um, waiting for the new buyer here is all weather floor mats and carpeted floor mats. Of course the, they're badged with the TRD Pro badging. Um, we have 400 watt power inverter back here. Those seats will fold down to flat giving you a total uh, cubic feet of 88 cubic feet of cargo room. Our fill door here is on the uh, driver's side of the vehicle. Fill capacity 23 gallons. It has uh, an overall combined fill economy of just 18 miles per gallon. That's probably one of the uh, lowest check marks this vehicle has. Other than that, it's such a great vehicle. Great resale incredible off-road capability then drives like a champ on the road if you're wondering why all this plastic is in here and this is before uh, pre-delivery inspection is done so this thing's still waiting to go through pre-delivery inspection and then uh, get uh, gassed up and cleaned up for uh, display on the lot um, this will have seats that fold down we're gonna have in here there's cup holders and armrests uh, air uh, vents but no air controls and two USB ports are here for the uh, back passengers. No blind spot monitors in this vehicle. All I can tell you, hey, this is off-road. This is meant to go um, really wheeling and trailing. If you need uh, blind spot monitors, you can go find a, a crossover. This is not built with blind spot monitors. spot monitors then we have our uh, coming into our driver's door here they're gonna give you that soft text uh, synthetic leather trim with red stitching uh, power windows power mirrors power locks are all available here coming over here this is where we have our power mirrors we have our um, automatic high beams on here heated windshield wipers our button for our 400 watt power that's in the back all your steering wheel controls uh, the fingertips touch and then we have a driver's uh 10-way power seat with the uh, adjust uh, with the lumbar support and then the other side's a six-way power seat for the uh, passenger side all right inside uh, the forerunner we have push start for this vehicle And then head right, head height clearance in this is 39 inches. I have had a few taller individuals that uh, don't fit in a forerunner, especially one that has a moonroof and sunroof. Now, if you get the uh, TRD off road package, you could get that optional with a sunroof. So, if you're a bit taller individual, that that's an option to not get that sunroof and get the TRD off road. Uh, this has one of the most basic uh, gauge clusters still in any Toyota. Again, this vehicle is kind of dated, kind of antiquated, but then still incredibly desirable because of what it's capable of. So we have just a very basic uh, driver's information center here, um, quite a bit less than you see on uh, most uh, Toyota vehicles here. So we got some digital displays for average uh, miles per hour fuel consumption uh, miles empty uh, our eco indicators telling us how, how to stay in the best fill range uh, digital miles per hour rest sway warnings and then we come over to the uh, steering angle I'm not sure why the Toyota has this on here I think a roll pitch thing would be much uh, better to have uh, we have our tire pressure monitors which are not going to be going right now because the computers have to be uh, set on this here oh here they go they finally turned on um, next screen here we have uh, our compass coordinates on here radio information is on this one here and then our lane departure in adaptive cruise control on here so if I push this button right here that's going to turn on my lane departure screen and what this does after uh, 32 miles an hour it sees those lines in a row those lines will turn to bright white 
that's then if you start to leave your lane it's going to beep and alert you that you're you're leaving your lane and then adaptive cruise control is two steps so you push the uh, radar ready and then this is the radar button here pushing that those three bars here are for three seconds of pacing behind a slower vehicle then we have two and a half and two seconds and then uh, last screen we here we'll have our no messages which is if there was a problem with this vehicle this will be the only screen that's on this vehicle so if I open up the door it's going to tell me the doors open but it does uh, basically diagnostics things also and then we have pretty much one of the most basic uh, Toyota safety senses that are available that they didn't even have this in any Toyota safety sense in this thing until 2020 and then it just got basically two things it's got the lane departure alert and pre-collision uh, with it and with and then you have your for your smart stop and then the adaptive cruise control is part of that and then the auto dimming high beams and that goes back to the original screen there most everything uh, that the driver is going to need is at a fingertip touch here uh, making calls picking up calls could be done from the steering wheel you could also pick up on the infotainment screen it will be a pick up and hang up uh, button that's touch screen there when the calls are coming in uh, you have your push to talk button for the Toyota system but it also works for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as you could do Siri on there um, and then we have our radio information here modes uh, getting changing channels and in volume and then this side here gives us the uh, other features that are available to the vehicle which was the the toggle button that controls that driver's information center that I was showing earlier up on top here we have two air vents so there's four air vents coming across the dashboard they're, they're not using soft touch on here we still have hard plastics um, again uh, this is one of the more antiquated vehicles that hasn't had a lot of refresh or updates uh, that's supposed to be happening in 2024 from the uh, leaked information that I've heard that Toyota's infused uh, 330 something million into the San Antonio plant that's where the Tundras are built and, and some of the Tacomas they're going to move the Tacoma business out of there and start building the rip brand new tundras that are going to supposed to be come out at the end of this year or maybe early next year and then they're going to start up uh, the uh, production line for the uh, 2024 forerunners out of there and they're going to move that building that's all been done in japan uh, to that san antonio plant moving the tacoma business all of the uh, builds will be done at the two plants they have in mexico let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, infotainment screen that Toyota for provides this grew in 2020 from a dinky little six inch to this 8.1 inch screen this has JBL audio in this too um, this is known as what we call the three panel screen here uh, so this is this has your radio information when a phone's connected the phone information will be on that bottom box there and then the, we have half our integrated maps so this has uh, built-in maps with satellite updates now so there's no hard chip anymore to be replaced it's going to always update itself and then also you have maps that you could use through apple carplay and android auto google maps and Waze maps are available to this uh, model here go back to the home screen here we have again the three panel and then we have our jbl audio here with the i have it on sirius uh, xm 53 Or decent stereo system air controls are big bold easy big buttons I like this this is uh, a very traditional thing that Toyota has done with these uh, simple silver knobs and things that are make the uh, air controls you're gonna see this in Tacomas and Tundras and uh, forerunners are gonna get these big knobs uh, Sequoias and also the Land Cruiser it's all traditional of, of these vehicles to see uh, this and they continue to carry this on Toyota does uh, easy air control so it's just going to give you your flows with four buttons fan speeds up and down 
AC, rear defrost, uh, heated mirrors, front defrost, AC on, inside, outside air, dual climate control available to this here. This is our primary USB port that works for our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Toyota does not provide a wireless charging pad for your cell phone in this vehicle. Again, another thing that makes this kind of antiquated, not up to date with a lot of the uh, what customers are wanting and demanding. And then we have the last of the Mohicans, which is a physical gear shifter here for four wheel high and four wheel low. This is the uh, special edition TRD knob. And then uh, Toyota's been fixing this in a lot of vehicles. Again, another antiquated old thing that Toyota's not changed in this here is this, uh, I don't even know what you call this. It kind of makes a, kind of looks like an ear or a C of some sort. But the, instead of having just a regular shift knob that goes straight up and down, this has all these different notches, I guess. So if you're driving and not looking, you could feel where you're at and not have to look down. You can just tell by the notches. And then it has a sequential uh, shifting for it, its five-speed transmission. And this is the uh, special TRD uh, shift knob that this vehicle comes with that's uh, reserved for that this TRD Pro. But once in a while, you'll see that in a TRD off-road package too. And then we have our rear window slider here. Infinite heat control. So instead of like one, two, and three, it, it's a roller knob and you could adjust it to, to where you personally like it uh, for both the driver and front passenger. And then I don't believe this is um, gonna be uh, f carbon fiber, but definitely looks like it is carbon fiber. This is our rear window slider. I will demonstrate that. And then just another cubby center console for storage. You get one power port in there also for more charging and electronics that need to be need power. A decent sized gub box. And again, they're carrying on uh, some fit and finish with this nickel polished look. And then the plastic polish and then the red stitching. And then we'll turn this around and I'll show you the rear window slider. So proprietary to Toyota no one else has this except for Toyota that's a full rolling down window good for ventilation um, especially got the puppies back there and stuff they like to have the air things like that so that's a nice feature to have I think that's one of the coolest things that Toyota has is this here we have our TRD uh, embroidered badging in our headrest here again this is pre delivery inspection what we call PDI so it hasn't gone through getting all the lip stickers pulled, the monitor set, and everything else that needs to get done through it. Up on top here we have our auto dimming rear view mirror and then this is what makes the TRD Pro special. This also is available to the TRD off-road regular and the TRD off-road premium package which gives you this uh, soft tech synthetic leather almost the same thing as a pro it's just missing a couple items uh, most of it's just looks uh, but it's going to not have the the uh, wheels on it of course the, it's not going to have the fox shocks it's going to have a uh, bilstein shocks instead of the uh, fox gas charge uh, trail tune shocks but this is the uh, cool stuff here so we have uh, crawl control modes so easiest way to explain that that's like cruise control for off-road and it's going to turn a average off-road person into a better off-road driver uh, it's going to help you get out of uh, sticky situations like mud sand it could even dig itself out if necessary uh, we have our garage door memory links here so you could do three garage doors it has a track the best way to explain that button it's kind of a just a good way to get through uh, mud and and slick surfaces it basically breaks the wheels at different times and helps it uh, get through uh, different situations that are uh, that are real slippery uh, rear diff locker again this is the only model and into TRD off-road that has a rear diff locker we have our reading lights and dome lights up there SOS button here this is a uh, special button this is for uh, emergency services so if you're ever in an accident where airbags deploy uh, the call center will be alerted. They'll be reaching out to you to see if you need help. They'll know how fast you were going at the time of the accident. Um, 
they'll know your GPS coordinates. If you're in an emergency, you could push that button. And again, this is satellite link. So let's say we're out trailing and we're out of cell phone coverage. That button was that button could get pushed and you could get a service because it works through satellite and not through a, a cell phone signal. So let's say we're out in the bush, we broke down or something like that, and we have nobody with us. We could push that button and call for help. So it also does trial services of stolen vehicle locator, getting directions, tech support for the vehicle, roadside assistance are all part of the uh, package here. On the very top, this does come with the moonroof sunroof um, and the TRD off-road. That is an optional item again for the taller individuals that, that, that may have some head clearance issues with the, uh, with the sunroof because that, that lowers the ceiling. But this is also a moonroof, so it's going to open up and then or lip up and then the whole thing opens up if necessary if you want to open it and you can stop it anywhere along the path and boom there you go very nice and simple and let me close this up mike hamilton over here lithia toyota ready and if you're looking for the most off-road capable vehicle Toyota builds this is it the 4Runner TRD Pro it has a short wheelbase uh, it's narrower so it has ability to uh, climb up over things and and clear things a lot easier than you have the crawl control modes to help you out get over uh, more aggressive terrain uh, help you drive a lot better and then it still gives you the uh, functionality of being just a daily driver these things are really nice just to drive on a daily basis it's a good on-road vehicle for long trips in town and then when you want to go off-roading to have a vehicle that you don't have to go out and modify is this vehicle here it gives you all the features you need to do most off-roading except for the most aggressive off-roading that uh, some people get into so uh, this is a, an incredible vehicle best resale vehicle in its class being an SUV it has the the best resale overall of any SUV and then legendary reliability this engine's a little bit thirsty uh, but it's tried and true doesn't have issues you could drive this thing forever and virtually not have problems resale again if, uh, some people bought these things like a couple three years ago because of COVID have been able to trade them in and actually not lose money sometimes even have equity in their vehicle which is amazing that's something that you never hear of of any other vehicle out there for the most part except for something that has a toyota logo on it somewhere uh, i want to thank you for watching my video have a great day